So uh, uh, good afternoon, everybody. It's a great pleasure to be with you today and to share uh, our experience in Bulgaria with uh, genomic medicine. Uh, my name is Radka Kaneva. I'm a professor in Medical University of Sofia and also head of the Molecular Medicine Center. I'm uh, also um, um, the Bulgarian uh, National Coordinator of BBMRI, um, Eric. And I'm going to talk about uh, the existing uh, research infrastructure and capacity and the uh, projects ongoing uh, in Bulgaria so far. And then Dr. Balabanova is going to talk about the National Mirror Group as well as uh, NGOs in personalized medicine in Bulgaria and other uh, initiatives. Uh, as you see, this is the map of Bulgaria and uh, here the structure of our uh, medical um, uh, genetics is uh, uh, distributed among four medical universities. The biggest one is in Sofia, and then we have uh, the universities of uh, Varna, Plovdiv, and Pleven, and also three medical faculties uh, in uh, Sofia, Stara Zagora, and Burgas, in addition to the National Genetic Laboratory, which is uh, actually um, based in the University Hospital of Obstetrics and Gynecology. Uh, speaking about capacity uh, of uh, uh, genetic and genomic testing, um, this is supported by the Ministry of Education and Science, and we have a national uh, research infrastructure roadmap. And uh, on this roadmap, in the advanced stage of development, is just one research infrastructure. This is the National University Complex for Biomedical and Translational Research. Uh, which is based at Medical University of Sofia and uh, in collaboration of Medical University of Plovdiv. And we have also several centers of competence that are in the building phase, and they are supported by the operational program Science and Education for Smart Growth. And these are um, uh, centers of uh, competence in the Medical University of Plovdiv, Perimet, uh, Center uh, of uh, Competence in Medical University of Pleven in collaboration of uh, Medical University of Varna, both these uh, two uh, uh, centers of competence are going to be focused on the application of NGS technology in genomic medicine and mainly in the uh, field of uh, hereditary diseases, but also a genetic predisposition, reproductive health, cancer and precision and personalized medicine. Uh, the other center of competence that is uh, supported by the same program is based at the National Center of Infectious and Parasitic Diseases, and it proved to be very relevant in this moment of pandemics because uh, it is uh, going to be um, participating and it is all already doing this, the NGS sequencing of COVID-19 and other infectious diseases. Next slide, please. When we speak about the established uh, uh, infrastructure, um, I'm representing the Molecular Medicine Center, which is the co uh, genomics uh, co-facility at the Medical University of Sofia. This center was established in 2006 with the help of INCOEC project. And uh, later on, it, it uh, uh, continued to develop as the, um, one of the, the, the biggest the national centers for genomics research. Uh, supported by the Ministry of Education and uh, Science. Um, it uh, was transformed into Center of Excellence in uh, Genomics, Proteomics, and Metabolomics, and later served as a core for the building up of this National University Complex for Biomedical and Translational Research. Um, in 2015, uh, the NGS core facility was established, and in the same year, we actually registered the Genome Diagnostics Laboratory, which is offering uh, um, genetic diagnostics for rare diseases funded by the Ministry of uh, Health. In 2018, uh, the Molecular um, um, Medicine Center was uh, uh, officially joining, uh, Bulgaria officially joined the BBMRI ERIC, although we were associated members since 2009. In the same year, Bulgaria also signed uh, one plus million genome declaration and was supported by the Ministry of Education and Science. In 2020, uh, we, uh, at the end of 2020, we upgraded uh, our NGS core facility and uh, acquired Novasik uh, and also Yongin Studio. So uh, at present, this is the one and only 
a sequencer that is a uh, um, center that is able to perform whole genome sequencing in Bulgaria. Uh, throughout the years, we were able to generate uh, the biobank at the Molecular Medicine Center with uh, more than 15,000 patients' DNA, uh, also tissue and plasma samples distributed among rare diseases, common complex diseases, uh, uh, as you see, um, uh, various uh, disorders, neurodegenerative, uh, neuropsychiatric, cardiovascular and diabetes. Uh, solid cancer, about 3,000 samples, controls from the population, and uh, last year also COVID-19 uh, uh, samples. Uh, about the, the generated clinical and research data so far, we have uh, uh, 400 clinical exomes uh, performed at the Genome Diagnostics Laboratory and funded by the Ministry of Health. About 150 whole exome sequences and just 10 whole genome sequences uh, uh, which are mainly in small research projects in uh, different inherited diseases, cancer panels, uh, familial cancer panels, and uh, BRCA1 to uh, panel sequencing uh, related to um, companion diagnostics. And uh, uh, speaking about uh, genetic data, we also have uh, been able throughout the years in international yes. collaboration to generate um, SNPRA data for uh, GWAS studies, uh, mainly uh, supported by NIDA projects, collaborative projects on heroin addiction and uh, uh, cases and controls, about uh, 3,600. And then we had uh, um, uh, collaborative uh, project uh, in the frame of uh, uh, practical international consortium uh, for prostate cancer and contributed for population genetic studies with genetic data on uh, European, um, Bulgarian Roma. In the pipeline, we have uh, a project on viral and host genome characteristics for SARS-CoV response, and we are planning 300 uh, whole exome sequences, as well as uh, another 300 uh, OS uh, um, funded from uh, the infrastructure grant. However, no national genomic initiative or program uh, is uh, available so far, so we don't have secured funding for whole genome sequences yet, and we still don't have the support of the Ministry of Health. Let me uh, give the floor to uh, Dr. Balabanova to uh, just uh, finish uh, the presentation. Hello, my name is uh, Dr. Jasmina Koeva Balabanova, and I'm the uh, chair of the board of the Bulgarian Alliance for Precision and Personalized Medicine. I'm also the representative of Bulgaria for one plus million genome. And uh, together with Professor Kaneva, we are members of the special group. Um, you see in this um, chart the uh, National Mirror Group, where, which was established in Bulgaria as early as uh, June uh, 2018. Uh, well represented, uh, represented. it was uh, uh, approved uh, with the Ministry of Education and Science and agreed with the Medi uh, Ministry of uh, Health. Together with the um, science infrastructure, we have three NGLs working in the field of precision and personalized medicine. And uh, as you have heard already, Bulgaria participates in uh, European research infrastructures in, uh, in biomedicine. And uh, of course, we have a national roadmap for research infrastructure, which is uh, continuously upgraded. We have a program on e-health, national science program on e-health in Bulgaria started in uh, 2018, uh, planned to finish uh, in 2022, and uh, a project um, on updating the cancer registry is included in national recovery and resilience plan. Um, of course, we perform a number of ongoing activities. Uh, you have the time to, to see it when uh, the uh, presentation is distributed, but I would like to outline the uh, building up a Balkan network of personalized medicine, the white paper on personalized medicine in Bulgaria. The uh, We have already submitted uh, an official proposal for uh, including Bulgarian initiative for genomic and personalized medicine and Bulgarian reference genome project in the national health strategy uh, 2030. 
uh, and uh, we also perform a number of um, educational and um, uh, capacity building programs, uh, as well as uh, a special project on digital health. And uh, we hope that uh, uh, great support would be the installing of Petascale supercomputer in Bulgaria in uh, Sofia Tech Park, which will be the most powerful supercomputer in Eastern Europe. Uh, with regards to current needs, challenges, and recommendations, we have already heard that, uh, unfortunately, we don't have, for the time being, National Genomic Initiative, but uh, we are continuously <laughs> working on that. And as I told you, we have already submitted official support. Uh, with regards to political support, of course, we need greater political support, and we wish we had the broad political support that our uh, colleagues from Finland and Sweden are enjoying. Uh, currently, we're supported by the Ministry of Education and Science, but uh, we are working on acquiring the support from the Ministry of Health and the Ministry of Economy. Uh, one of the challenges is coordination of activities uh, for research, clinical and diagnostic structures in the field of genomic and personalized medicine, as well as, as I told you, relevant ministers, ministries and uh, regulatory and funding bodies. Um, we still have the challenge of um, relevant infrastructure and capacity building, and of course, as everybody uh, would agree, I suppose, raising awareness uh, not only uh, among the medical and pa patient societies, but also uh, to the funding structures and governing structures as well, in order to succeed in the introduction of genomic and personalized medicine, not only in clinical and research, uh, but also in preventive and social medicine. The support that we would like to hear from 1 million genomes, that's First of all, setting common standards and sharing of good practices. Also, uh, we rely that this initiative would focus the attention of governmental authorities and policymakers, and of course, improve communication and coordination between all stakeholders. Um, it's a great opportunity to share scientific and cl clinical results and improve current diagnostic and therapeutic protocols, which is also very important. And uh, help us to change the paradigm of preventive and social medicine, introducing genomic and molecular perspective. Um, we also expect support from national, for national and regional initiatives in the field and help continuous education and capacity building in genomics and genetics. Before thank for everybody for your attention, I'd like to show you this uh, picture. Uh, which is familiar for Tula and our guests at the Second Balkan Conference on Personalized Medicine. Uh, this was an initiative of the Medical University Varna, and it holds the world record on the longest DNA change formed by humans. Uh, it um, has uh, 4,000 participants, and I'm really uh, convinced that uh, by accomplishment of one plus MG will have a DNA chain um, as long as it will encompass all Europe. Thank you for uh, your attention.